There it is. All right, you can see it in the distance. There's a trade in also. Way up there. There it is, there it is. All right, let's see if we can get in this thing. So how about a 1988 MCI? So it's uh, 6 o'clock and I've been sick as a dog all weekend, uh, but it's delivery day on this unit right here. I figured I'd give you a quick tour before I head out. I'm going to try and make a video somewhere on the way and do a full tour, but here's a quick, just a quick beginning. Beautiful unit. It's 2022 Jayco Seneca Prestige 37K model. Well, we're about to head to Ohio. this super c man it drives good it handles well i have no complaints i like the way it cuts through you know when a semi truck passes it doesn't the wind doesn't affect it like most class a's do all right so we're on our way uh we're headed up to just north of dayton ohio to deliver this 2022 jayco seneca i figured i'd do a little intro on it it's a 37k uh, this unit was owned by a gentleman before that barely used it. It's only got 5,000 miles on it. Uh, a lot of that was just transportation miles. So the previous gentleman had uh, $50,000 worth of upgrades, improvements, and aftermarket stuff added to this unit. Um, the things that I saw on the list were he did add 110 plugs in every basement door which is a nice add-on uh, most of the time in the basement they'll have several but not in every basement uh, so he got it he has them in every basement he also has an uh, in sink dishwasher not like the band not in sync like the band like it made into the sink dishwasher uh, also he had dish or direct I'm not sure which one two satellites so you can watch uh, two different programs on different TVs throughout the coach at the same time as well as he added a few marker lights which I'll point out around on the or I'll point out on the walk around he also added a TV over top of the entry door on the inside uh, these do not come with that they've got a TV Know, over the fireplace midship of the RV itself and nothing up front overhead so he added it over the entry door I guess to be more like a class A and also in the utility bay uh, he added a second water pump so it has two water pumps I'm assuming so the pressure never dips even while you're using if he's got another reason you can comment below uh, I'm not sure why else you would need two water pumps unless you're running two you know fixtures at the same time but he definitely dropped quite a bit of money on this unit uh, Brought it in that you could barely put fuel in this unit. Um, 
in case anyone else ever had this issue on a similar unit. Uh, the fresh water tank actually sits on these plastic blocks and is, you know, held in place with retaining material all the way around. It's not actually secured down. Well, these blocks were not in the correct position, so that fresh water tank had dropped down and was crushing the fuel inlet, the rubber pipe where it goes over top of the frame. Uh, so he said he could barely even put fuel on the lowest setting. And you know, this morning we put fuel in it for the first time after that. And we had the big nozzle going wide open, no issue at all, no restriction. So it was definitely that fresh water tank. So if anyone else has that kind of issue and one of these supersedes, uh, definitely check, just follow, you know, follow the neck down and you'll be able to kind of see. It took me a couple minutes to actually be able to see it just because how far back in the bay it is. Oh, but also this gentleman added an oversized uh, fresh water filter and a hose reel, like a water hose hose reel in the utility bay, which you'll see it on the walk around also. So this coach is done in a super high gloss finish on all the woodworking, uh, including all the trim and all the overhead storage cabinets throughout the coach. Um, has a ton of overhead storage. You see your partition wall with a pocket door. You've got a 45 inch TV, a convection microwave. The entire coach is done with the vinyl foam padded ceiling. You've got a dinette that does fold down into a bed for two. You've got the in sink dishwasher. You've got the four door residential style refrigerator that actually the bottom right door can be a freezer or refrigerator. The upper is fridge. You've got a electric fireplace with seven different settings. Moving on to the bedroom, you've got a 35 inch TV, overhead storage, is now a queen bed. This gentleman actually changed it from a king bed and had um, all of the around the bed redone. You've got a washer dryer in this cabinet, Whirlpool, separate, not a combination. You've got a stand up shower with glass sliding doors, skylight above the shower, decent sized bathroom. Uh, you've just got a regular toilet, not an electric toilet with macerators due to having two black tanks. You've got a good sized medicine cabinet with more storage to the right and below it. You've got a pocket door to divide the bathroom. You've, you've got, got a hanging closet in the cabinet behind the mirror. Another pocket door to partition off the bedroom. Like I said, this coach is done beautifully with the finish on the cabinets as well as the Ceramic tile on the floor is an ultra high shine finish. You've got the overhead bed with the roll up shade, the giant window. There's the TV over the entry door the gentleman had added. You've actually got two steps inside and three steps outside in this coach for easy entry. If you want a full length uh, tour with all the features of this coach, I will be posting another video of inside and out. It's about 20 minutes. Should be rolling up on it anytime now. Looking for 38, 38. We're at 36, 37, 36, 57. Coming up anytime now. 37, there it is. All right, you can see it in the distance. There's a trade in also. Way up there. There it is, there it is. All right, let's see if we can get in this thing. 
So we always spend a few hours with new customers showing them their new coach. These people were awesome people. So how about a 1988 MCI Premier Bus with an 8V92 Detroit diesel, Allison automatic transmission. So now it's time to head back to Kentucky after a long day, uh, pretty much the edge of dark. Had to stop for fuel. Uh, this unit runs and drives great. It surprised me. I didn't know what I was going to get into, but it actually handled really well. Uh, most of the options worked. I could not get the heat to work, and it was about 25 degrees, so I was a little bit cold on the way home. Well, after a long day, uh, finally coming back into town uh, thanks for watching the video folks uh, if you want to check out this 88 uh, MCI that I'm still currently driving uh, I will do a follow-up video on this unit kind of give you a walk around with it um, I think I'm going to make a separate video of a full walk around on the Seneca that I dropped off today um, I will include a short walkthrough that I did, separate from the main walkthrough, but if you want to see the full walkthrough of that unit, I will uh, post another video of it also, uh, outside and inside, and like I said, I'll do a walk around on this MCI that I'm driving right now. Uh, thank you so much for the view, and comment, like, subscribe, give me any suggestions on what I can do better, or what you'd like to see more of. We get a lot of different units in. We do a lot of different work on each of these units. We, here at Sewell Motor Coach, we sell a lot of coaches. So if you want to see certain units, maybe drop a comment and I'll plan a bug in Doug's ear to look for a certain unit. Maybe uh, yeah, just let us know. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Like I said, like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Appreciate it, you all.